Hello before welcome to the United Way. My name is Rob Dukan, a Manchester United fan just like you. Guys, as you see on the thumbnail, Mason Greenwood giving a lifeline to go to AS uh, Roma by Jose Moreno. We'll talk about that. Uh, I don't know if it's a rumor, but well, it's a news. It is from the Sun uh, magazine. And I know most of my viewers here, you guys are fans of Mason Greenwood. You love the talent of the guy. And I think because you have this uh, African way of doing things, because I know I do have a lot of African viewers here. And uh, because I, I know if Mason Greenwood gives you that talent, that talent which uh, makes you love the beautiful game. So we'll talk about, uh, we'll react to that news, to Mason Greenwood. Also, we'll react also to... Uh, other developments in regards to Manchester United, an inch of the sales. We know there are some legacy issue going on now with uh, the Manchester United Football Club. We'll talk about what McTominay also future might be for Manchester United. We've heard Manchester United want to keep uh, McTominay because he's a young player. You see, you, when you, why do you have to be with somebody because of his age? Why do you have to keep a player because of his age? That should not be a reason. It should be good. A reason of keeping a player should be. He, because he's good for the team. It's as simple as that. We'll also talk about a lot of things that have changed in Manchester United. But yeah, before we start, guys, please make sure you click the like on the video. Thanks for all of you subscribing, by the way. We just had 10 subs from the videos we were having last night. This is a new story, a new show on the channel. And we're reacting to this amazing guru news, which I think most of you... I mean, if you have a heart, you will see, find it very rational. If you... Um, if you don't have a heart, you find it very rational. <laughs> you see what I mean? So, yeah. But anyway, you know, personally, um, I'll go on with that. But let me go give big up to who's, which guy. I want to give a big up to uh, David De Gea. Most of you might have not known that yesterday, David De Gea got, uh, did, had his wedding with his beloved uh, girl, uh, uh, girlfriend, now wife. Guys, I, will, I advise you guys, you need, to, you need to join our Facebook group because that's where we do all the live, you know, breaking news, you know, rumors very fast so you can get engaged. Join our Facebook group because we have a fantastic community. And for those of you watching from Facebook, guys, big up to you guys. You are the powerful guy. Make sure you subscribe, share this video with everybody so we can build a big community. If we can hit 10K this summer, we'll be doing a lot of live streams with you guys where I want to bring, my goal is to bring Fabrizio Romano into this channel and I think you guys are going to do that. Just give me that 10K and then we'll bring that so Fabrizio Romano can answer your question. So, you know, as I said, um, you know, um, yeah, uh, David De Gea yesterday, a goalkeeper was been with us for 12 years. David De Gea is the last player in Manchester United that have won the Premier League, if I'm not mistaken. You can say Tom Hitton was he there when we won one of those. But uh, David De Gea obviously has... Uh, uh, Contract got expired yesterday. I think I did. I did a hint about it uh, yesterday. Uh, and well, he's no more Manchester United player. I think personally that the whole deal of the year wasn't treated pre uh, very good. United, our new owners need to really reform Manchester United because football is a brand. Look, most of you are watching from Asia. You know, some of you, not most, but some of you are watching from Asia, from Africa, yeah, in Europe. You know, it's... It, it, Football is a massive branding business, so you have to make sure that your image is, 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 uh, um, is, is, is on top. I said this about um, Manchester City, the way they gave a farewell to Don G um, Gondahan, right, who went for Barcelona. It wasn't a hate thing. When Silva went to, uh, two years ago, when Aguero went, you know, you have to, players have to have a dream. Player football is a very short career, and we have to give players an opportunity to say goodbyes to the fan. If Manchester United fan base drops, Manchester United will drop as a club. Even if they win everything and they have a very, very low fan base, let me say cut off Manchester United fan base to 50% and they wouldn't be the same club that they are. So it's because of you, your eyes. This is something I want to remind you guys. It's because of your eyes that you see Manchester United having team viewer. It's because of your eyes that you see Air Qatar Airways. It's because of your eyes that you see all the money coming. So never sit in your bunker, never sit in your, your, how you can call it, your penthouse or in your wooden house and think that, oh, I'm, I, I don't matter for Manchester United. If you're a fan of Manchester United, you subscribe here, you have to always express yourself. You have to say, you have to 
I mean, you have to be open-minded. You have to bring something to the table on your position on affairs, affairs in, in related to the club Manchester United. So, yeah, that is it with David De Gea. I wish him all the best. I still think that if Manchester United doesn't get, like we've been getting rumors about Onana, Andre Onana. I did a video about Andre Onana yesterday. Now we, there are some conflicting reports that Andre Onana United hasn't enough money to bring in players after on after they uh, after they uh, they have just done and I had an agreement some kind of uh, agreement with Chelsea in regard to Mason Mount and uh, if that that if we have to buy Andre Onana we would not have money to buy bring in another player and I find it very useless I think it is useless and I want to tell you guys why I think it's useless because you know going into the season Manchester United priority all of us your priority Manchester United and everybody football is a game you can see it's, it's a beautiful game because it gives you the fun and I. An opinion also to express yourself in terms of who has to come in and out. It has been clear that Manchester United needed an attacker. The first player United had to sign was an attacker. I, I, so that's why I think that theory, I have my theory about who is going to be the Manchester United attacker. I am very confident that uh, Ramos, uh, Rasmus, uh, Rasmus will be the attacker for Manchester United because all signs are showing there. Yes, but you know, I did a video yesterday telling you guys that he will be leave, coming to Manchester United that a 35 million bid has gone in. I think journalism, though we're testing the waters, we can only, and, but you know, you cannot blame us. We, what we do here yeah, is we read the news and we share with fans. This is what football channels are. If any football channel tells you that I know what's happening in their line, nobody knows what's happening in Manchester United. We get the news, we tell our fans, we react to them as a United fan, football fan. Some of you come up with ideas, you give your opinion, and that's the way it works here in football. So put that in mind. If you think you don't matter, you're making a massive mistake. That is where I am. But anyway, as I said, uh, said about uh, the, the thumbnail, I haven't talked much about uh, Mason Greenwood. So let's just go to Mason Greenwood because we want to do it 15 minutes. We're already seven minutes, oh my God. Smash that like on the video. But yeah, Mason Greenwood, we've had this information here, yeah, this short uh, uh, um, article here yeah, from The Sun by Richard uh, Morlarty from The Sun that uh, Mason Greenwood given lifeline by legendary Premier, uh, Premier League manager after charges were dropped. So Jose Marino has shown his interest from Mason Greenwood. He would like Mason Greenwood to join uh, uh, the Italian CBA. What's my opinion on that? Who cares? But what is your opinion on that? Tell me, what's your opinion on Mason Greenwood going to Italy? Is that a good deal? You know, I, I, you can call me whatever you want. It's your choice. But I thought Mason Greenwood should stay in, in, in the Premier League. I thought he should stay with Manchester United. Why? Because I understand football has no morals. But I have been thinking this morning when I read this article that it might be a good idea for Mason Greenwood to go somewhere else, prove his worth again, and then return to the Premier League. Why? Because the highest flip flop audience are in that Premier League that you see. Believe me, there are a lot of fans today who are championing Mason Greenwood, and when he comes on the pitch, they will be the first, first to, 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 to insult him. It could be related to uh, the scandal he had, it could be related even to race. It is very difficult, guys. We need to think about people's mental health. Even here on YouTube, most people write idiotic comments. So, I mean, you need to think about the mental, the mental health of people, and, uh, of individuals. Because those who stand in front of the camera like I am standing, it's simple. It takes a lot to, to, of courage. It takes a lot of um, uh, passion, you know, to, to stand in front of the camera and express myself. I know all of you do have an opinion, but not everybody will do this, you know. So, I think Mason Greenwood, it is also a good option for Mason Greenwood to go to Italy. It's not all that bad. So you remember I did some videos. This is my fourth or fifth Mason Greenwood video. I think Mason Greenwood is a very talented player, but I think going with Jose Mourinho, and there is something nobody's talking about. You remember, I don't know how long you watch football, when Zidane became a world-class player when he went to the Serie A. Why? Zidane was naturally a very talented player, but very lazy. But the physicality of the Premier, of the Italian league, the Calcio, my play in favor of Mason Greenwood. He will be better when he returns to, to, to England. So I think this is a fantastic deal. And I would love to hear your opinion. Tell me what you think about Mason Greenwood. And uh, yeah, well, then, uh, I mean, I would like to read and also get, get your views. And um, yeah, another short story yesterday night, I just, before I was going to bed, I looked, uh, 
It was about this article I saw you in the beginning of this video about uh, the Manchester United Evening News. As I said, this is an outlet which is based in Manchester. So they actually have correspondence with the club. I think both the city, but they are, they are pro man MU, MUFC. So they have said Manchester United would prefer to keep McTominay in midfield, which means Fred will definitely leave because Mason Mount comes in, Fred leaves to Fulham because of uh, McTominay's age, because he's 27 years old, if I'm not mistaken. McTominay is not a kid. He will be 27 years old, I think. 27, I think, yeah. Or 25 or 27. I, I need to check that out. But he is not a kid. A kid in football is when you're under, you're under 22. Yeah. So Manchester, uh, so that he's a kid, he's energetic, and he understands a lot how what Manchester United is all about. But I think this is the wrong approach for a car club that wants to be not only ruthless, but that wants to perform on the pitch. The only way we get back to the, our uh, previous glories is for us to be, uh, to be less emotional, but more proactive in the way we... we uh, the short form is that the only way we, should come, we can get back and be a winning team again, we have to be ruthless. We have to get out the deadwood, get out players who are not performing well and bring in new players. For, uh, for that to be possible, we need to bring ambitious owners. Talking about ambitious owners, we know there are now some legal issues going out with the sales of Manchester United because, you know, I want to sell my glass but now for, for, for $10 and I find someone buying it for $9 and I say, no, I'm not selling anymore. And that doesn't help. So um, I just think that uh, uh, th 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 there is a legal issue going on now. Oh, well, that's not what I think is what it is. There's a legal issue going on with Manchester United. And honestly, uh, in, the coming, in the coming days or so, I, I think the, f the first week uh, of Manchester, of this, this uh, J uh, July, what will happen is United will try to spend some time talking about uh, the signing of Mason Mount. You know, the, all the marketing that comes with it. Talk about Mason Greenwood also leaving United because if the player isn't playing for Manchester United, why should he be staying in uh, in the UK? He should go for and get uh, get some some game time somewhere else. I think we'll talk about that. Talk also about the gear leaving. I think there will be some kind of festival, some time of the uh, festival. Well, fan, well, not fans, but tourists uh, come also and say goodbye to the legend. And for those of you who have never been to Old Trafford, I'll tell you guys something. Uh, Old Trafford, there are tourists there every day. It's a touristic site. Just like all the top clubs, that, uh, they, they use this, their stadiums are like touristic site. They make money out of it. So, um, yeah, there we go. There we go. Anyway, guys, a short video. Yes, yeah, Sunday, I'm going to the beach. This is not vodka, for sure. It is just normal uh, cold water. It's really hot here. Can't believe me. The AC is on and also fun because I couldn't stand here. I was just sweating like a dog. But anyway, guys, I, you drop your comment below. Tell me what you think about this uh, Mason Greenwood movement. Is that a good movement for Manchester United and Mason Greenwood? Personally, I would have loved him to stay. But, you know, I think the, my final conclusion in this situation is I think Greenwood should go and have some time football express himself. Because, yeah, and you, have, you, have, you might have forgotten that Greenwood haven't played football for almost two years now. So he has to go and uh, pick up uh, his, uh, some game time. And uh, if he does well, he comes back to the Premier League. United will extend his contract and give him time to play. So that's where I am. Anyway, guys, uh, yeah, talk to you again tomorrow. I think we're having a very pumping week. We'll have a very uh, busy week uh, this week because there will be a lot of in and outs in Manchester United. It is something we are not used to. So stay tuned with the United Way. Smash a like on the video. Subscribe to the channel. Subscribe. I want to see you guys. If you want to do live content, make sure you do subscribe. Without all said, guys, yeah, have a nice one and talk to you soon. Bye-bye.